No sign of eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Oriana in time without your help. And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket. I'm glad I got to take him out myself. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'd been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I wish your people had made the offer. I looked at your track record as you hunted Saren. I saw the choices you faced. You'd fit in fine here, and we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best jeans money could buy. I guess it wasn't enough. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. I can't admire your body or your mind? You give your father too much credit. Yeah, he gave you gifts. But you can be proud of what you've done with them. Oh. Thank you. Perhaps I wouldn't mind if you admired my body. You wouldn't, huh? I think I could live with it. It's only fair. You've had two years to look at me. 
And I was wearing less than you are. Shepard, wait. I, I need to think about this. Scared, Ms. Lawson? Cautious, Commander Shepard. But interested. Very interested. For now, I should work and think. I'll talk um, to you later. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? I do. I suppose we should talk. I don't know what this is. If this is stress or just blowing off steam or... I care about you, Miranda. And I think you care about me. This is no time for emotional entanglement. You and I know more about the Collectors than anyone. We know how unlikely it is that we're coming back alive. What idiotic bunch of hormones thought that now was a great time for love? It doesn't matter. What matters is how we feel. Damn it. Come on, Miranda. You want this. Yeah, I do. So don't die. You promise me, damn it. I died once already. I don't plan to do it again. Give me some time. When I'm ready, I'll come by, okay? Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Always. I'm dealing with a few loose ends for Cerberus. We haven't had much free time lately. But I haven't forgotten our earlier discussion. I think we're crazy, but I haven't forgotten. Assuming you're still interested. Oh, I'm definitely interested. Glad to hear it. I'll be by the next time things are quiet. Oh. Pardon me, Commander. I've cleared the engine room. I'll be there in five minutes. I should have known you wouldn't settle for the captain's quarters. I settle for nothing but the best. 